this video we will be reliving Batu with some Galaxy's Edge exclusives. Hey there everybody and thank you for visiting AdShot. If this is your first time or you are returning, we appreciate you viewing. All video and music made from scratch. Hey there and welcome back. We're going to go over some more Galaxy's Edge exclusives here. Here we're going to take a close look at some of the items that I have purchased, some of the items I have had others purchase for me, and some items that I've gotten off eBay. So we're going to start right off the bat with the power and control. Now I did not forge this saber myself. I gave money to a family member to go through the lightsaber experience and experience it for themselves, but to return with me the goods to which I paid for. So here we are, the power and defense. I did choose these parts. I was very happy with this choice and uh, very happy with this saber. So as we move on to the next, we will see another saber that I did, again, give money to a family member in order to go through the experience and we chose the peace and justice. Here you go, here's the pin that comes with each lightsaber experience. Here we have the parts that I picked out. I was very happy with how this, this came to me. And after these first two lightsabers were built, they headed right on over to the First Order Depot. They were packaged nicely and they were shipped back to my address. I was very happy that these were all shipped to me in good order, with their sheaths, with everything that was needed. And here we go, here's the saber that I built. This is the Elemental Nature. This was the experience of a lifetime for me at Galaxy's Edge West, which is soon to be opening. We are very excited about this. And here we have it, the Bantha Hide. Beautiful wrap on this saber. Something was definitely calling to me about this one. There was something about that handle, that grip that I wanted and I made it extra heavy on the front end. The top end is very top heavy, but it allows for a sweet swing around. I'm able to wield this saber as if I was born with this thing in my hand. So here we go. This is the 32 inch blade that goes into the saber. This is the blade that will come with your build at Savvy's workshop. So right now we're going to take a look, a little bit closer look at the pieces and how this thing breaks down. Obviously the thing is very robust, it's heavy. When you unscrew it, you're usually unscrewing metal on metal. You can hear that the metal is sliding against each other. It's, it's very well built, I must say. The only plastic piece is the hilt underneath the, the main component, which has all the brains and everything in it. And here we go, the kyber crystal, the red kyber crystal I chose for the power and control. And how we go on here to unscrew the peace and justice. Again, each piece I stared at closely. I, I knew when I placed my order with family that, that these, these were the pieces I wanted. And I believe I did tell them if they were feeling something different, that they could take another piece. Or I did have a plan B if these pieces were not available. But here we go, I chose the green kyber crystal to go with my peace and justice. And then here it goes, my build. This one was very special to me. This was the elemental nature. And keep in mind that when I built this, I did not choose the Rancor Tooth. It was not calling to me at that time. I actually chose a different pommel cap, which had the loop for the belt hook. But as we go here, I did make a very robust lightsaber. I also built it differently with the Bantha hide on the bottom end, which I then switched to the upper end because my saber was much more top heavy and I wanted that Bantha hide closer to the saber blade. And I chose the purple Kyber crystal. That was definitely calling to me. Something about Mace Windu, something about that powerful purple crystal. I don't know what it was, but it was what I chose. And I was very happy with this decision. And here we go, these are the Kyber crystals themselves. Now keep in mind, when I was at Galaxy's Edge West, when it was last open, there was only two colors available. We were able to purchase the white and the yellow. At Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, they only had limited supplies. 
so I was able to do my further purchases when I returned home on eBay. And that's where I got the rest of the Kyber Crystals. And of course I paid a premium. Of course I paid twice the price. But you know what? It was the souvenirs I wanted. I wanted these memories to stay with me. And of course here we are. The Legacy Saber. No journey to Batu is complete without purchasing a lightsaber from a back corner of Doc Ondar's. But here it is. I chose Ray's lightsaber, as they called it. But really, this was Anakin's lightsaber originally, then passed down to Luke, who then Ray took this lightsaber, eventually forging her own off of this same piece. This replica is so great, it is so heavy, it is so detailed, everything about it is modeled directly after the film and the books. Now I did my Savvy's workshop experience first and I built my custom lightsaber, but I was not going to leave that park without a legacy saber of my own that came in one of these sweet cases. So here's one thing you must have. If you're going to have one saber or two, you must have something to hold the saber on your belt clip. And this was a great purchase, a small price to pay in order to, you know, really set it up right and get this uh, saber swinging from your hip here. So as you can tell, there are two ways to do this, one being the clip, and this will provide more of a free range of motion on your hip where the second alternative, which comes on a few of the other sabers and pommel caps, is a circular knob which fits into a channel right here. So this clip accommodates two different styles. It's fantastic. This one, though, swings more in like a rigid swinging fashion, which is still good. I like either way. I think I'm more fond of the uh, first, first method, if you want to know the truth. but. Hard to make that decision when you really do like the Rancor Tooth or something uh, for your cap. So here we go. Here are the cases that are given to you when you do Savvy's Workshop Experience. The black cases on the left, those are the ones that they will hand you when you walk out of there. It's a great way to protect your saber for the rest of the day. Keep in mind you can always drop off your goods at certain places and leave them there for the remainder of the day or, you know, Get them shipped home to you whatever is best for you but you know some people like to walk around especially with these things at night it's really fun now here's a case that i picked up it was unavailable when i was at galaxy's edge west but again on ebay i was able to pick up this case that i really wanted and actually i didn't pay too much more than what i expected a lot of things are double priced but this one was only about 20 bucks more i felt it was a fantastic deal i totally picked it up it was brand new with the extra pockets Oh, here we go, Ogus Cantina. No uh, journey to Batu is complete without a visit to Ogus Cantina, but they don't really sell the menus. But uh, funny thing is, eBay does. So I went on eBay and I was really able to score a couple of awesome menus. I was very happy about this. I mean, these are memories that I had when I was there. These menus may be not exactly from the time I was there or not exactly from the right park. There are differences between these menus. At the very bottom of each menu, there is a special date and a code. If you look closely, you can tell that one of the codes reads Disneyland Resort and the other reading Walt Disney World. The menus, these coasters, everything about it, these are all eBay specials. Of course, I don't think they'd care too much if you took a coaster with you as a memento out of Oga's. What a great time. I really had a fantastic journey to Batu, and uh, everything about this place was really everything I wanted. And of course, uh, I had to pack my bag with about six Coca-Colas. They are custom made, looking like thermal detonators. The waters are as well. They are so cool. Everything about the Dasani bottle. You know what? These things go for about 20 bucks a pop on eBay. I'm not sure why, except for you can't get them anywhere else. So pick a few up, not to sell, just to put on your desk. Enjoy. That's what it's all about. When you get home, turn on your saber, have a good time, get good at it. You know, learn how these things work, learn how to take care of them. Don't leave your batteries in there too long for them to get all nasty. You know, these things definitely need fresh batteries. They appreciate good storage, you know, so keep them on your desk, keep them nice. Put the batteries in when it's ready to duel, when it's summer, when the weather's nice, when the sky gets dim and you get outside. 
You know, this is pretty much what I do with my family. When I'm outside, we're having a great old time when it comes time for summer. And you know what, the sabers come out a little bit more. And here we go, I'm just really happy to be able to, you know, get these things lit up again and, you know, get these back in my hand. Because it's been way too long since Batu has been opened and, you know, we're looking forward to the reopening so much. So we want everyone to watch this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel. We're putting up our best efforts so that you can enjoy and that you can appreciate what I'm getting at here. Yeah, I get it. All right, as we gear up for this finale, I'm gonna step out first with the elemental nature. These pieces, this purple kyber crystal, we're calling to me. Everything about this build and everything about this experience was exactly why I want to return to Batu and experience this again. Next time, I will choose protection and defense. I will complete four sabers. Of course, in order to get all of them, you need eight. And I will try. So on my next visit, whenever that will be, I will be geared up and I will be ready. I can't wait to take my daughter in for this experience. Here as I step out, I have the peace and justice. Built by a family member, as I sent them off for an experience of a lifetime. Something that some may only experience once, if at all. And again, the peace and justice, the green saber, the perfect choice of the kyber crystal. And here we go, the final power and control. This saber again, purchased for me by a family member, built by the hands of family, but now in the hands of the rightful owner. As I prepare, and I'm ready for anything the future may hold. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's more to come. Please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.